Hi, class. My name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week six discussion post. So an overview, I'm going to go over um, four additional theories, two for uh, GPA and two for PSML. So the first one is duty-based ethics. Um, Duty-based duty duty ethics focuses on legal and ethical issues. Um, well, it, it, it came from our legal and ethical issues course. It focuses on um, ethics and um, it teaches that some acts are right or wrong because of the sort of things they are and people have a duty to act accordingly um, regardless of good or bad consequences that um, may come from the, the, the decision or the, the act. So some kinds of actions are, are wrong or right in themselves, regardless of the consequences. Um, it's similar to virtue ethics, but instead of taking a virtuous and moral approach, uh, administrators or leaders take a duty-based approach or mindset towards ethics in their roles. Um, so you can see uh, Kant actually criticized utilitarianism um, because it takes no account of integrity, um, and uh, they hold the moral agent responsible for outcomes uh, that are neither foreseeable or controllable. So um, duty-based eth ethics takes a, a duty-based mindset towards the um, ethics. So utilitarianism, my next uh, theory. Um, this is also from our legal and ethical issues course. Utilitarianism is the doctrine that actions are right if they are useful and they promote the overall happiness um, and are for the benefit of the majority. With utilitarianism, an action is right if it tends to promote happiness um, or pleasure and wrong if it tends to produce unhappiness or pain. Um, not just for the performer or the, the, the leader, um, of the action, but also for everyone else affected by that action. The leaders act or um, decide, the leaders act or decision is to maximize happiness or pleasure and minimize unhappiness or pain. Utilitarianism heavily focuses on the consequences of an action. Um, it aims to make the best impact on the overall happiness of the majority of the group. So the next one, um, is conflict theory. This is from our conflict resolution and labor negotiation course. Um, so conflict theory holds that social order is maintained by dominion of power rather than by consensus and conformity. It focuses on society being in a state of conflict over competition for limited resources. Conflict theory can apply to PSML because there's typically conflict when it comes to making a change in an organization. Leadership styles are different in new leaders and there will be conflict when it comes to that and also um how people conflict when it comes to how people react and accept the change that is taking place within the organization so the next theory is um concepts on the role of the executive um this is from our organizational theory course bernard felt that it was the executive's role to maintain the system um in doing so the executive directs the system rather than managing it Bernard identifies three executive functions. The first is to develop and maintain the system of communication. The second function is to get people to join the organization and also assist in achieving the goals of the organization. The third function is to define the purpose and objectives within the organization. So I just want to say thank you for viewing my video. Look forward to viewing everyone else's.